This short video outlines 12 key changes between AMS 2750D and the new E version released in July 2012. First point is that E now specifically outlines that wireless is allowed as an alternative to extension wire. This is not mentioned in D. It also notes this type of system needs to be part of the calibration check. In D, the individual control sensor needed to be recorded by the recording instrument. There is a second option in E to use an additional sensor in the same sheath as the control sensor, no more than 0.38 inches apart. And this second sensor is linked direct to the chart recorder. Using instrument types A or C in a vacuum furnace, the D standard outlined each control zone with a dedicated control thermocouple needed high, low and load sensors. In E, rather than for each control zone, you can split the entire working volume into 225 cubic foot zones and can treat each of these zones as a single control zone to determine the overall number of high, low and load sensors. For non-expendable low thermocouples, it is prescribed how many days to use or maximum uses at temperature. In E, at 2200 to 2299 degrees Fahrenheit, there now is a time period added of three months or the 10 uses as specified in D. For 1801 to 2199 degrees Fahrenheit, this has now been lengthened from 30 days to three months and keeps the 90 uses specified in D. For calibration of test instruments, in D, this stated a minimum of three points, min, mid, and max. In E, this has now increased to six simulated inputs, minimum, maximum, and four points spread equally across the working temperature range. In E, there is a greater emphasis to record the as-found calibration details, as well as recording the as-left. It is then easy to view the drift characteristics of your controller or recorder. If you purchase these types of instruments before September 2006, you may continue to meet the requirements of AMS 2750C, but now E states a deadline of July 2015 to conform to the latest specs. Digital instruments for controlling, monitoring, or recording instruments had to meet an accuracy of plus or minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the operating range. Now E specifies plus or minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit or 0.2%, whichever is greater. Detailed in E, any systems purchased after September 2006 or any electronic record after 2015 must ensure that the electronic records cannot be altered without detection and additional statement outlines that the system must be capable of providing evidence that the record was reviewed. Quench systems installed before September 2005 do not require mandatory recording until July 2015. If installed after the September 2005 date, they must be recorded. Some rewording in E regarding the TUS reports have to provide the following. Time and temperature data from all recorded sensors required for furnace instrumentation type for all zones tested. Correction factors for TUS sensors at each survey temperature. As found and as left TUS offsets should be recorded if used in production. Major furnace modifications require resetting back to an initial survey frequency. Indeed, this included changes of control type, for example, proportional versus high-low off-on, and adjustment of tuning constants. In E, further detail was added to include change of controller model or type, PLC logic program change to the furnace heat control, adjustment of tuning parameters. I hope this was a useful summary of 12 key changes between the D and E revisions. We have a number of products that meet the instrument requirements of the specification. This includes our Precision AMS 2750 TUS recorder, an automated software system, as well as the standard 6000 recorders. The compact Nanodac recorder controller meets the accuracy requirements for both control and recording, and the 3000 range of controllers utilize the high accuracy 3504 for higher temperature applications. Please visit our website www.eurotherm.com forward slash AMS 2750E for the latest information on how we can help you meet the latest regulations and improve your heat treat processes.